What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to, I guess, day one of series 13. This is gonna be interesting. So if you're unfamiliar, series 13 is the uh, only time we've been allowed to legally use mythical Pokemon in VGC, which is really, really cool. Uh, because now we can do a couple of things. For one, uh, we have to build around these mythical Pokemon, and two, uh, we get to get the ribbons, the battle, the, was it, the Master Rank? I think it's called Master Rank Ribbon on your mythicals, which is completely new. We've never been able to do that before, so that's super cool. Uh, but yeah, today, uh, I just wanted, we're going to keep using my Zerud team that I've been showcasing pre-VGC 2022 Series 13, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, you guys seemed to enjoy it last time I wasn't live streaming and it was just like straight up commentary. Uh, and I think I'm going to get back into that for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, because I want to get more off stream practice and just be by myself, not get distracted by chat. Uh, and two, because I'm, I'm like off my I'm off my game now when it comes to commentating my matches when it's not live streamed. So I'm going to try to make some time to do that. Also, just get extra practice. So that's cool. Um, but before we start, do me a favor. If you guys enjoy this thing point in time, leave a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. And that's for my comment question of the day. What would you prefer me to focus on this season when it comes to content creation? You're going to get both. Don't worry. But which one would you prefer for me to focus on? Series 13, which is the unofficial VGC. It's, it's official in that it's from TPCI. Uh, the Pokemon Company International, but it's unofficial in the fact that we will never play this in a tournament, at least not like in an official tournament, it'll all be grassroots, or would you prefer me to focus the majority of my content on the Spike Myth Cup doubles format, which is effectively Series 7 with no Dynamax. While I do prefer Spike Myth Cup as the game that I would like to play and get good at since it's great for practicing in the series, uh, or practicing leading up to Gen 9, uh, I just want your input on what you would like to see because I'm going to be playing both regardless. Which one do you want to see more on the channel? You're going to get both, but which one do you want me to focus on more? Let me know. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, so this is the team that I've been running for a while. This is going to be the Zerud Xerneas team. Where is it? Where is it? Gym partner. My gym partner is indeed a monkey. So yeah, um, this is... It's It's been a fun team. I haven't played Series 13 for like two weeks. Uh, I've mostly just been grinding out Spike Myth doubles because it's it is what I prefer to play TBH, but I do need to make sure I get some in ladder content. So uh, we do see a pretty interesting team. Keep in mind the ladder reset, so we are in Great Ball right now. Uh, we see a Ho Oh, Raikou, Necrozma Dust Main, Sableye. Um, Milotic Landorus team. Funny enough, the Zerud on lead goes insane here for a couple of reasons. Uh, for one, Zerud is immune to prankster moves like Will-O-Wisp, so that's nice. Uh, I also have Rock Tomb to deal with the opposing, uh, the opposing, why can't I remember your name? ho -Oh, which is base 90 speed. I'm gonna say it's in my best interest to lead off pretty offensively we're gonna go ahead and do this and i think i pretty much have to bring the groudon in the back or the incinera in the back as much as i would like to use xerneas i think incinera is a little bit safer but yeah how's everyone's day been i actually found out something the other day apparently in obs you can keep in mind i am like the third largest English speaking VGC YouTuber, and I am just now learning this, so uh, you know, anyone can make their dreams come true. Uh, I, I just found out that in OBS, a program I've been using for years, you can have OBS export a ton of different audio tracks with the same MP3 file. Isn't that insane? So, my audio mixing is going to be a little bit better because <laughs> I can actually, in post, change the, the volume of certain things. Sableye Ho-Oh. Okay, that's why I let off this way. Um, because it's unlikely that my opponent is going to anticipate a Rock Tomb into a Max Airstream. And I think that's always my play. Who knows, maybe it could be like Ancient Power Ho-Oh. Actually, does Ho-Oh get Stone Edge? That's the thing, I don't know. I don't know if it gets Stone Edge. 
fake out could also be coming my way but one would imagine uh in this situation they like don't even want to fake out the zarud i feel like zarud is like inconsequential by the way uh psa if you're not using zarud data you're broke um and you have no drip that's it like he literally has a scarf on they literally implemented an entirely new pokemon for the exclusive purpose of giving it a scarf all right let's see if we get this play right I guess it was also like promotional for a movie, but I'd like to believe it was the scarf that did it. That was what they really wanted to implement Zerud Data for. Alright, Dynamax, your ho oh stinky. There it is. How much you guys want to bet this is like weakness policy ho oh? I mean, we're playing Dynamax on Great Ball. Like, there's a good chance it's just Weakness Policy Hoa. The point here is to make sure I don't get outsped. Will O Wisp? Oh, they forgot. They have forgotten. Alright, nice little speed drop. That did a ton of damage. No Weakness Policy, so my Airstream is going to go in. Very nice. Decent chunk. Um, if my Zarud survives this next turn, I can just rock to him again, but I highly doubt they're just going to let me get away with that. But if they do, I won't complain. Max Airstream. Okay, that's into my Charizard. Because I do have a berry that would allow me to eat that up. So, that's pretty nice. Um, sign to note is my... That did do a lot, though. That did, like, more than I'm comfortable with. I think I just rock to him again. And go for the G-Max Wildfire. Onto the ho Because if it goes onto the Sableye, it, like, doesn't... Like, if, if I target the ho here, it's fine. Because my Rock Tomb won't KO, but the Wildfire probably will if it doesn't. And then the Sableye still... And then I still get off the effect, you know? They could quash my Charizard, but I don't know if they even want to do that. Um, they might forget and quash the, the Zarude. That would be pretty cool. I would actually really... I would appreciate if they quashed the Zarude, completely forgetting what the last turn had. Max Guard, what are you going to do? Do you have, like, Trick? Foul Play? Yeah, they're just, they're just going to Foul Play. Um non-zero chance they have quash let's do this uh at this point i still just double the hoo -oh, and the reason i do that is because while they could quash me uh it's probably just in my best interest to go for the damage regardless because i need the wildfire the wildfire is absurdly important to winning every every match ever all right now i hope that my rock tomb just ko's nope not quite so i'm not gonna get my my wildfire off but we're not really in a losing position right now Because, like I said, Zarud is, like, always going to outspeed everything. And something even cooler is that um, this next turn... Let me think. It doesn't matter if they burn me. Oh, wait, it actually does. This is... All right, guys, guys. This is finally, finally the moment I get to click jungle healing. I've never been in a position where my Groudon actually gets burnt. But now my Groudon can get burnt and I can click the cool move. The cool guy move, no one remembers. Alright. So it is at neutral speed, so it will outspeed me. It's in my best interest just to Lariat. And we'll go for the Heat Crash onto Sableye. They're going to protect, that's fine. They're just going to will me now. But I still don't really care. Oh, I want a jungle healing so bad. I can't this turn, though. I can't. Next turn, I can, and they're never going to see it coming. Heat Crash may two-shot. I hope it does, because then the uh, jungle healing will be even cooler. Uh, not quite a two-shot. I still Lariat. I still Heat Crash. It's all the same. Because they don't have any Lariat switch-ins. They do have Rock Tomb switch-ins. Um... 
Does P Blades do more a single target? I don't know. Let's try. Pretty sure it's the same damage, but I just risked it. But if they do switch out the Ho-Ho, that is a lot better. Foul play will do a decent amount of damage, but I don't particularly care. They may even quash me here. I'd prefer that more than anything because I still just KO the, the ho -Oh. Okay, that's good. Glad I went for the P-Blades because this is going to do a lot of damage. And next turn, next turn, I get to go for the very risky play. I'm going to do the risky play, by the way, guys. I don't care what you say. That's good damage. Dude, I'm going to do the risky play if almost exclusively because it's like saucy as hell. And also, it might be able to bypass a uh, certain move known as Ally Switch. Foul play. Oh, they think I'm Sash. No, I'm not running that garbage item. I missed the Sableye, which kind of sucks, but all I have to do is connect this next one. All I Guys, alright, listen, I get that I can lose here, but I have yet to click the coolest move ever. I have yet to be able to showcase this move. So even if it causes me to lose the game, I'm still going to do it. I just have to connect my P-Blades and the Krozma and, like, everything's fine. Protect? That's fine. That's fine. Actually, that's better. Jungle healing. Nice burn, moron. That's a thumbnail. Get some health back. Get some health back. I'm at full health. Oh, and what's this? Was I burned? Didn't notice. That still did a decent amount. Don't miss again, I will cry. Nice. Alright, didn't quite KO. Um, but I'm gonna do it again, because he's just gonna will o wisp me. Let's do it. I'm gonna dude, I'm gonna do the same play. I'm gonna do the same play. He'll never see it coming. Oh, well, I might have lost because of that. We'll see. I'm at full health. I mean, I would imagine my Groudon lives this. It's full health. Well, almost. It's gonna be close. Thank you, Groudon. Absolute goat. Don't miss or you're getting released. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, I could have lost there. I didn't think they would actually quash. I think they would just be like, yeah, he's probably just gonna KO me. You know? I was hoping. Anyways, uh, nothing on their side of the field has like a ton of health. ho oh, I can just Lariat into. Um, obviously, I have to be a little bit careful, though. Because there is a Landorus. I do outspeed Lando, though, because I believe I'm outspeeding um, base 100s. Oh, I might speed tie. What is, my, what is my spread on this guy again? I don't remember. That's concerning. That is a concern that I now have. They totally just protect here, though, right? I think my play is going to be to... Rock Tomb Heat Crash? I was going to look it up, but it's not worth it. I'm pretty sure I'm just... I'm, I'm pretty sure I speed tie with Timid Landorus. So this might be a speed tie. Yeah, because I'm 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 speed crept to outspeed base 100s so like Charizard. So if this thing's 101 base speed, which Landris Incarnate is, uh, if it's timid, it's a speed tie. So it comes down to that, which isn't fun. They're gonna protect the Ho. -Oh. They don't protect the Ho. -Oh. I should still just pick up a KO here and win, because Heat Crash is gonna do a chunk. Oh, did they just U-turn on me? Hello? Okay. Er they're still faster. Oh wait, I'm so dumb. Guys, I'm so tired after a long day of work. I failed to notice that um, I did not slow down the Ho-Oh. I did not use Icy Wind. I used Rock Tomb. Guys, I'm literally an idiot, but uh, luckily Incineroar can come out here and we're like fine to win. Lando, I would imagine, is in, in range of Fake Out plus like Lariat or like Power Whip. Uh, however, it's in my best interest to 
fake out Lando and rock tomb the Ho-Oh. I forgot Ho-Oh gets a regenerator, so. I'm, I'm too much of a coward <laughs> uh, to, to, to do anything other than this. Like, because I could fake out the Lando and attack the Lando, but um, this is just safer. Okay, it looks like I made the right play as long as I connect. Rock Tomb, don't miss. Thank you. Good game. Yeah, they can't take a Flare Blitz into a uh, Darkest Lariat. And they also can't take two Darkest Lariats, so every outcome I win. Nice. This is a really good Zarud Showcase. This was a very good Zarud Showcase. Very happy with the outcome of this. Nice. Watch them be Earthquake. That might be like AV, considering the fact they've been U-turning here, and U-turn isn't exactly the most common move on Lando I. We also can't tell if it's Life Orb, which they usually are, um, but we can't tell if it's Life Orb because of sheer force. So let's check. And we just defeated the, the city of Miami. Can I look at your team? Yes, I do want to know what that team is. That was a kind of a cool team. Goggles on Ho-Oh makes sense. Uh, not max speed. I always feel like Scald's a waste of a move on Raikou, to be honest. No Trick Room. Was it fast? No, it was just relying on Quash. Yeah, no Trick Room. Sort of a standard-ish Sableye. Let me look at that Lando. It was Choice Scarf. Okay, I made the correct play. Wow, that could have been bad. Oh, <laughs> it was Choice Scarf. Ooh. Wait, how did I outspeed it with my initial Rock Tomb? Oh, I was at plus one. Guys, I'm literally so stupid. I was at plus one speed. I'm literally so stupid. Well, guess what? You know what? Sometimes you're an idiot on camera and it just works out. Sometimes it just works out. Okay. Uh, this is just a Series 12 team, which we kind of go in on. We, I, I cannot tell a lie. I cannot. I literally can't tell a lie. Like, try. Try to get me to tell a lie. I literally cannot. Zarud goes hard. Harder than it should. Harder than any Pokemon should. I'm not going to lead off with it. I'm too scared. Um... I think I lead off Zarude Groudon for the best. No. I think I lead off Xerneas here and... Xerneas, Zacian, Groudon, Incineroar doesn't seem bad, but I am going to bring Zarude because I want to... Because I want to power whip a, a Gastrodon right now. Also, just dawned on me that because I didn't bother hitting uh, Master Ball last season, I, I literally just didn't even bother because I didn't want to play Series 12 anymore. Uh, I somehow managed to fill a whole season with just no actual Series 12 flattering. I think I did some Gigantic Quest stuff, though, but uh, yeah, I managed to get through that and not make it to Master Ball tier because I played like six games. And uh, because of that, I started in Great Ball 8 and not Great Ball 9. Grimmsnarl Kyogre. Okay, this is actually a really good lead for me, um, because I said so. I'm lying. Uh, because one would assume they have to go for, like, Thunder Wave onto the, um, Zacian here. What I want to do is go for my very cool Geomancy play. And go right into Groudon. For a minute, I actually thought I let off Zarude, which would have been phenomenal there, because Zarude is kind of cool in the face of Grimmsnarl by the fact it can't be Thunder Waved. Um, and I forgot I let off Zacian, which is why I said I had a good lead, but I lied. Alright, Zerndon, do your thing. Let's see if I'm faster than this thing. Reflect? Ooh, okay. Alright. Looks like we're just going to Water Spout. Are you Scarf? They're not Scarf. This was a very good play for me. This is a certified hood classic. 
So if you're wondering why this is a really good play for me, um, it's the fact that next turn, what I can do is, I'm probably going to lose my Groudon next turn. What I'm going to do is max my Xerneas and go for the, there's the Origin Pulse. Okay, pretty weak, pretty weak. Go for the um, max Fairy move into this Groudon. That did nothing. Oh my god, okay, maybe I just don't even bother. All right, uh, I'm going to go for the max Fairy move. Which one's stronger? They're the same. Into this Grim Snarl, and I'm actually going to hard switch out into Zarude here, uh, because what's going to happen is I'm probably going to get Thunder Waved, and if I don't get Thunder Waved, I prevent Thunder Wave for effectively the rest of the game, and if I do get Thunder Wave next turn, I outspeed with my Zarude, and I get to jungle healing off that Thunder Wave and hit the Kyogre. Very cool, right? I know. It is very cool. So we should always just annihilate Grimmsnarl. Unless we get paralyzed, but this is my like, this is my plan in case I do get paralyzed. Dynamax? Yes, if you're Dynamaxing here, you're either going to be like Fake Tears or like Thunder Wave. Or Scary Face. Scary Face is the worst outcome, but still not that bad because I will outspeed the Kyogre. I genuinely hope it's Thunder Wave just so I can jungle healing in front of them. No, they just light screen. Okay, I'm pretty sure you don't live this, which is very good for me. Yep. I mean, Zacian can come in. That is a thing that can happen. Um, but I don't know how much I care. I was too scared of the Thunderous to bring my my Incineroar, which would have been re really good here. Geyser shouldn't do too much. If it's into Zerud, that'd be so good. Yes, okay. That goes right into Zerud. Uh, I think if Zacian comes in here, my play isn't actually... Oh, it's Gastrodon. Hello? I disagree. Let's max Starfall. I mean, the Gastron totally doesn't take a Power Whip, so I'm not even going to bother. Let's max Starfall your friend and Power Whip here. What I was going to say is if the Zacian comes in, my play is probably going to be to protect and go for the Rock Tomb onto the Zacian uh, so that the next turn, my next Rock Tomb will outspeed, and then I get to KO with uh, Groudon in the back. Did a decent amount. Power Whip, I'm fairly certain you don't take this, even with Reflect. Yeah. Hailstorm. Okay, that's going to be into Zerud. I don't mind losing Zerud this early. Still have the Groudon, you know, it's fine. And I had my Zacian. I just go my Zacian here. And depending on what's in the back for them, I might switch. It's their Zacian, yeah. Uh, my play is just going to be to double the Zacian here. Because I believe this is my max speed set, right? I hope it's my max speed set. It might not be. <laughs> that would be really bad. Let me check. Oh, no. Okay, it's my max speed set. Yeah, uh, this is fine just to double. Should come pretty close to KOing. And if they don't target the Xerneas here, I'd probably just win. They should target the Xerneas, though. Oh, they protect. All right. I don't believe my Zacian will go down to a geyser without rain. And next turn, I can just Dazzling Gleam in Behemoth Blade, and we're like, fine. It just comes down to who's faster, really. Oh, imagine if I play roughed into that Kyogre right now with the Fairy Aura. That would have gone, gone crazy. I would have actually been insane for that. 
I don't agree with that. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know how I feel about that play. I'm in a pretty good spot. Both of our Dynamaxes are ending. I can now Dazzling Gleam to decrease damage across the board from this thing, unless it wants to, like, Origin Pulse. Uh, but my play is probably just D-Gleam into Be uh, Behemoth Blade, and it is a speed tie if they're max speed, so we'll just see. I'm pretty sure I only need to land this Behemoth Blade to wrap up the game. Good damage across the board. Let's see who's faster. I'm faster. Cool. Uh, with Reflect, probably it'll come close to KOing. Let's see. It depends on the set. No, they just barely hang on. Behemoth Blade. Ooh. If it's single target Origin Pulse, I could go down to this. Origin Pulse. I don't think I tank that. I do still have AV Groudon, though. I do still have AV Grot on, and then it's just a matter of how fast their Kyogre is. Because I think I might be able to take a Behemoth Blade from this range. Possibly. Yeah, it's just, it depends on the Kyogre speed. Because they're both in range of P-Blades. Maybe I should have Moonblasted the Zacian. Probably. Be slower, Kyogre. Be slower. Station protects, okay. I need you to be slower. Yes, I'm faster. Okay, please KO. Please, don't miss. Oh, come on. Please miss. Now oh, they ice beam. Dang it. Okay, I lose. That's kind of an annoying way to lose, because I totally won if they didn't, if I didn't miss that. Okay, that's fine. Granted, I could have just Moonblasted that Zacian and it probably would have wrapped it up, but nah, it's a little annoying to lose that way. Okay. With that, we're like just under 30 minutes. I think I'm just going to wrap it up there. Uh, for two reasons. When you lose like that, it's probably just best to pack up your your stuff and leave just to make sure you don't like it tilted on ladder. Uh, and for the other reason, uh, I don't have that much time to record. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications. And of course, let me know, do you guys like this or spike myth cup more? And I'll lean in more to one or the other, depending on the response. But yeah, have a nice night and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>